Okay, let me explain you the difference between implicit and explicit by showing you these sentences. Uh, they were given explicit instructions, means clear instructions, not uh, anything which is not understood or which is hidden. Uh, the law is very explicit about how these measures should be taken. The law is clear. It does not have any hidden meaning. It does not have any implications. It does not have any thing which is not understood. There is a sense of moral duty implicit in her writing. It means that uh, in her writings, whatever she has written, some it's, it, they are talking about some writer, that um, it is clear, it is, you can found uh, the sense of patriotism or moral duty in her writing, but it's not written clearly that she is not saying that I take care of morals all the time, but it is, it is, uh, it can be seen in her uh, explanations in her writings. I have an implicit trust in her honesty. On, honesty. It means that I didn't say to her, it was written, written in the text that I trust her, but um, it is understood that I trust her. Okay. The, when we, uh, the questions we asked in uh, which we are called expri having a, uh, explicit meaning, they are sometimes a name of a person or a name of a place or any obvious action or in reaction or think anything present in the text. Whereas the implicit meaning depends on how somebody is feeling in the text. It's not written clearly that he felt sad or he felt happy, but it is obvious in his um, reaction or in his uh, any uh, other words that he's happy. Effect of certain language in text. It is also not that certain type of language is used, but the writer asks you that what is, um, uh, how is it affecting us? So it is not written in the text. We have to read it and then find it out ourselves. When we have explicit meaning questions, uh, we have just have to go through it quickly. It involves only skimming and scanning and a quick reading can t give us answer the, of the question of explicit question or simple information is present in the text. And they have usually one mark or sometimes two marks also, but they are quick to un for us to answer. We don't need to spend a lot of time in answering these questions. And uh, by reading these questions, I'll show you the questions also the of the first comprehension we are going to do. I'll show you that which question have which are implicit meaning and which have the explicit meaning so when obviously when the answers are very quickly found that they don't have much marks whereas in the implicit meaning questions they are uh, mostly of two marks because you have to write it in your own words you have to think about it they um, involve a couple of readings like reading them the text number of times not one read one reading it once gives you the answer and careful consideration and time to ponder means time to think they these things don't jump straight out of your mind and you need a careful consideration uh, these are obviously the complicated areas of text not very easy so these are the differences uh, between implicit and explicit. And if you look at the comprehension I have sent you, this is the first comprehension in your books. And uh, this is called Snake. It's a very interesting comprehension. It's about a woman who's, uh, um, uh, who kept her babies at home and a maid to take care of uh, them. And uh, she went for work and a snake entered her house. Okay, that's the main idea of that comprehension. They have explained how the snake moved, how the, the ch children reacted and how the maid reacted. And the villagers came to uh, save them, but they couldn't. Eventually, the woman saved her children herself. Okay, so uh, uh, look at the questions. This is one page of text and the other is, are the questions. If you look at the question, the quest question number one is write down three uh, ways in paragraph one in which the writer tells you that Alu felt alarmed and frightened in the as she approached her heart. Now, Al uh, Alu is the name of the woman. Funny, I know. Uh, the three ways in which he had reacted, it, they are very easy to be found. And you can easily number them and give them the answer. Explain who Anango, uh, Yoma and Akat are. Just the uh, relation of the characters with each other. The, these two are explicit meaning questions and they have um, only uh, one one mark for each if we mark them. Why was Alu so sure that some misfortune had befallen the 
children now there are some questions which have clues of both type inferential uh, explicit also and implicit also theek hai there are some some questions are purely implicit or explicit but there are some in which they are both type of clues okay what made alu certain that one of her children had sent uh, met with uh, fate this is purely implicit question because you have to see that how did alu know that something bad has happened with her children okay what you have to do that i have circled the questions you have to do in written form and you can find the difficult vocabulary uh, marked also which will which should be write the meanings you people have to write the answers of these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 questions and you have to write the meanings of these words um, underlined uh, on the text uh i have provided the text to you now it's up to you that you people can do the written work on loose pages or even your old uh, journals which you used in uh, pc because we will see that how we are going to check that work and how we are going to evaluate it but the thing is that that everyone has to do it and uh, you know that you, i told you many times that your subject is a subject of practice and not learning and uh, just memorizing so if you will stop um, practicing language your language will not be as good as it was and we have we, you remember that we used to practice a lot so please do that work and uh, we can see that how you can send it to me you can send it to me on my email address also uh, i'll write in the email address in the whatsapp group you can take pictures and of your work and send it to me through email or through whatsapp i'll send you my email address in the whatsapp okay see you the next time inshallah take care allah hafiz